Okay, so I'll welcome you back. I'm 1426, just where I left off yesterday. I haven't played any games apart from a couple Blitz games. So I just played a viewer and just a random five minute Blitz game. I did a, a few tactics, you know, just to warm up. And now I'm gonna record my first rapid game. So I'm gonna go for a 15 plus 10 minute increment because that seems to work best for the videos as well. And I'll, yeah, it's easier to not run out of time while commentating while doing 15 plus 10 minute games. Okay, already in a game. Let's see how this goes. We played the, the Scotch Gambit, I was gonna say, but apparently not. I'm just gonna get my pieces out. I'm not exactly sure what this opening is. I could just keep pushing, let him take. Or I could get, oh, I mean, this bishop doesn't have anywhere to move. If I defend like this, it blocks my bishop in. So, you know what, I think I'm just gonna give up that pawn. I could probably recapture it all, but the problem is, yeah, attacks my knight at the same time. So I'm gonna take this pawn. I don't know why I didn't even consider just trading the pawn. <laughs> Yeah, I assume yeah, he's probably going to take back the pawn and I'm going to go for this pawn push here. Reason being is I don't want this pawn to come any further because I want to get my knight onto c3. Cool. Let's just see what there's a, there's, there's a check here. Just keep an eye on that. Uh, I think I could just develop and then get, get this bishop out at, at some point. Yeah, we're going to go for this. Maybe you go for this push here. Okay, so he's developed his bishop. This should be a quick way of getting that bishop back or he could block this way. Actually, he's going to have to block this way because if he does block this way, I could grab this. Actually, I can't. It's defending. All right. Let's just watch out. I could do this. I don't want it to be a symmetrical position. That's quite boring. All right. You know what? I'm going to go for this check. It's, it's developing and it's forcing. Comes with a tempo. And then I could get this bishop out to here maybe. Nice aggressive square. Yeah. So the knight's developed. I want to see if there's a way of me grabbing that knight, but probably not. I guess this is going to be the next move. I think I might go for this. Actually, I'm gonna go for this. I'm, I'm gonna take this diagonal. This looks nice. Cool, so maybe he's, he's gonna try to pin me, I think. But I'm just gonna castle out of it, just in case this does happen. And my next move is probably gonna be to connect my rooks this way, maybe. Remove the defender of this piece, but it's defended already. I mean, it's like a million dollar question, isn't it? Where do you move your queen to connect your rooks? There's this, there's this. And this is a blunder, so there's two options here. From here, I might be able to get into the center somehow. I like use my rooks. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go for this. The reason being is it's easier for me to enter the king side when, when my queen's on the dark squares. Because if, if it's here, it's gonna be blocked by my knight. It's blocked by my bishop now, but that this could easily be moved. With knights, it's a bit harder to move, move them out of the way. Maybe I should have done this. Hmm. This attacks the, the knight here. Probably should have gone for this actually. I mean this, 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 then I could have grabbed it, yeah. But it's, it's gonna castle out of this probably, so. I assume that queen move looks quite strange for him, so he's just being a bit cautious. But yeah, I mean this is okay, but this should have been the move. I think I could still go for this. What other moves push my opponent back? Let's say I capture, nah. I mean the options are really, I could get my rook in, or I could trade, then this. Mm, don't see the point of that. If this happens, it lets go of the defense of this, but luckily still defended. So, bishop in the center of the board. Looks nice to me. Okay, yeah, we just we just keep pushing forward. Okay, my opponent opts to defend the knight. My queen can now also swing this way as well. Right, if I take move, I could attack the rook. We could just move away though, take this file. Hmm, don't really like that. We could try add more pressure. How can I do that now? I mean, I only see like one move I could do in this position and I'm going to do it. Mm, the problem is, if this happens, is there going to be a tactic? This, this, tax this as well. Then I guess I've got to move. Take, take, yeah. So this, this, uh, all right, we're going to do this pawn move just to stop the bishop from coming in because that looks quite dangerous actually. So now if this happens, I could just capture. All right, this, this, here. No, I don't like that. Capture this, then this, because this attacks the queen. If he captures this way, I don't know if it's worth trading two minor pieces. All right, we're gonna take. Cool. All right. I was kind of worried about this actually, but he didn't do that. So we take this pawn and um, attack this this rook. Actually, wait. How am I gonna defend this? <laughs> defend this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I could just go back. All right. Cool. I kind of thought I, got, I was trapped there for a second, but luckily I have these squares. 
I could go here or I could ask for a trade. Should I should I force a trade? Or try to protect it? Hmm. What about this? That's like a sure way of getting me trapped to be honest. This this I could just grab it. This defends this way and also attacks. Wait no. Wait, this might be a good move. <laughs> Wait. If I move here, how can I be attacked? This? Again I could just grab this. This is a fork. How can these two be defended? I could see the queen defending this way, but I could just take, so it can't do that. Defending this, I could just take. It can't defend this way. <laughs> I think this is a free pawn. This, again, I could just grab. So, basically, this has got to move. And where could it move that? It also defends this pawn. Can't, can't defend it. So I could grab this, and then where do I go? I could just move away, no? We're going for this. If I get trapped there, you know what? Okay, he just resigned. <laughs> Why did he just resign? It wasn't that bad. Oh, the rook is completely trapped. I mean, not really. I just realized this is like this. Okay, they can't move there because of my bishop. Can't move there because of my bishop. But it's not like, it could move here. Just grab the pawn. Yeah, it could have It could have just moved there. And, and I, I would be getting a pawn, but it's not too bad. All right, let's review this. I think I'm gonna hop into another game. So this recording is probably gonna be quite long. I've just been recording for like 11 minutes. So we just analyze this a bit and then we just move on to the next one. All right, so this, yeah, just good news, not, not the best. Cause I, I don't know this opening and I don't think my opponent does either. Okay, so this is the situation. Uh, yeah, just develop good moves, castle. So I haven't played anything amazing really, just basic moves. And then this, yeah, I want to say inaccuracy. Yeah, win a tempo on the night. It should have been the move. Yeah, I, I saw that too late. Opponent castles, and then I move in. This is a mistake. Oh, wait, what? I missed. Hey, yeah, I should have taken. Yeah, I should have done this earlier, shouldn't I? This, this, this. Oh, that traps the rook. I didn't see that. Wow. So you can't even take this back. Go and move the, the queen somewhere. Damn. Anyway, so he continued with another mistake. Took this. And then, yeah, this was actually an excellent move. Kind of worried that it might have been a mistake. So, yeah, this is this game. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, welcome back. So, my opponent here just played e4. So, I'm not too up to date with what e4 does. To be honest, like, I don't have a response for e4 when I'm black, really. That's, that's the problem. Especially the London, like, I don't... Do I just develop the knight? I mean, I, I don't think it matters too much. I'm just going to get this knight out, just put pressure on this pawn, see what happens. Alright, my opponent goes for this knight jump, protecting this pawn, controlling also the e5 square. Again, I think this might be the response. and get my knight out as well. Alright, so I anticipate a pin here. Does that do anything? I don't have a pawn here that I have to hold on to, so it should be fine. Maybe this, but it doesn't really work, does it? Especially after this pin. Alright, I think I'll get this knight out. Yeah, I'll get this knight out. If anything, I'll connect this pawn. Okay, my opponent's taking his time here. I mean, yeah, it's just the opening phase. I'm just gonna look to just get my pieces out and castle. And then connect my rooks. Just, that's that's all I'm looking to do. I don't need to overcomplicate things. Okay, my opponent's already gone for an attack. Which might be a good sign for me. I might do this. Is this a good idea? No, because this bishop wins the tempo after the trade. I go forward, I just get kicked around. But that creates a weakness. And then I could come back, no? And if I trade, then that's all right. Should I go for this first? This, this, this weakness isn't, hmm. I mean, I reckon this is better than just going back. Is there some tactic if I do this? I think this is fine. Does this, and I'll just move back. And then if this push happens, I could happily take that. He wants me to castle kingside. Like he wants, so he, he probably wants to do his trade because he thinks I'm going to castle kingside. If I'm being honest, I don't exactly know what's happening in this position. <laughs> I guess it's just, yeah, I mean, th there's there's nothing to really do. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, poke some holes in this position. Maybe later on I could I could expose a flaw. All right, here, so I didn't anticipate this. Maybe should have considered two ways of being attacked here. I just gave him a tempo, really. I think it, it's time I just give this piece up really yeah all right you know what if i move like this this and then this bishop comes and his development is finished 
Why do I have to push this pawn and get this piece out? All right, I think I have to give this. Give. I. I have to let this trade happen. What if I strike in the center? Take. Take. Nah. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna let this happen. I might even just take my pawn because I'm just gonna be kicked out right away. I mean, to be honest, the whole point was I get kicked out. So maybe I'll do this. So this, this, this. Then I could just move back. Maybe it's not the end of the world. Quite annoying though. Quite annoying. I should have seen that move. So that's happened. All right, let's see this. What if I take with this? Allows this pawn to move forward, which probably is not a good idea if he does push it forward. So I don't expect this move. I let go of control of this square. I don't think that's of use to me anyway. Hmm. This, this, this. Nah, I'm, I'm too focused on this. This is, this is stupid. I, got, I think I should just take my pawn. I'm too focused on this, trying to make a weakness here. You know what? I'm doing this. You know why? I'm going to hop here. And I could at any time hop into this point here. If he does happen to castle queenside. Because now that he does this, if he, if he castles kingside, this is a weakness. But if I do this and he castles, let's say queenside, at any point this bishop sways away, I could just hop in here. Alright, yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly happy with how this game has started. <laughs> but material is equal. I don't need to be stressed about anything as of yet. I have lost a tempo here and there, which you can't really afford to do, especially as black. Also, I just revealed an attack. I didn't even see this. Alright. <laughs> I need to stay sharp. Alright, this is check. Push. I sacrifice. Take. Check. I fought with two pieces. So here I take two pawns and a rook. So I'll be up one point for the whole exchange. But I'd, I've also, I will also be shredding the whole of the queen side. If I do this and, and it gets blocked, I'm, I'm fine with that. But then this maybe. I've got to do this. this. This seems like the only logical move right now. I mean, I will see what will happen in the next moves, but for, for the next two moves, this makes sense, I guess. This, I was thinking maybe I'll get my queen in here or something, but that could easily be parried, so maybe the queen here. Or maybe just castle. But the thing is, after a block, like, there's only one way to block this, which is with the knight. Wait, what if I grab the knight? Oh, I just realized. Oh, I'm doing a lot of miscalculations before my moves, you know. I'm not liking this, but <laughs> luckily, yeah. luckily it's going well. I'm just looking for aggressive moves and they seem to be working out as of, as of now. But he can't even block. Check. He just loses a piece. And if he takes, I win the, the queen as well. Yeah, blocks. Take, take, check. Rook. You could just move. Loses casting rights. That's not good. All right, we've got to take this. Let's just check this line briefly. Just to see if there's anything I could do. But I take him with the bishop first. No, any other checks? All right, I take... Let's double check here. Any any checks there? No, this is blocked. Block, blocked by my knight. No checks there. Mm, there's a capture here. Nothing of significance. Yeah, just double checking. So if I take, I attack the queen. So I've got to take. This comes with check. So go go move. No, actually doesn't go move. Could could block. Could block this way actually. We're going for this. Um, and then we also we also take this rook as well. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the opening was fine all along. <laughs> I was just not seeing some moves there, just, yeah, I need to pay attention to what's going on in the board. I realise that I'm lacking concentration right now, which is uh, the main reason I go on losing streaks, actually. You can't really move the king anymore, I didn't actually think of that. Like, here is a discarded attack and I win the queen. This can't even happen because this, but like, any other move I'd just grab the queen. Like, you can't, you can't really do anything. Maybe try and move the queen out the way, like, this way. That's not, well, I didn't consider this, but... My bishop is actually defended. I should have thought of that as well. Like attacking the piece that's going to give a check. Alright, so there's a discovered check here. My opponent here has moved the queen instead of taking and um, having to lose the rook. Alright, so here, currently the king can't move anyway, but to discover an attack, I have to move this knight. But do I, I don't really have to do this move right now. Oh, I do actually, because take, I can't take back because of the queen. So we got to discover an attack. How are we going to do this? What's a smart way of doing this? What about this check? Hmm. Doesn't really do anything. King can move either way. I can move back this way. King can move either way. King moves there. This is a fault. Actually, no. The queen's defending. What about this? No. This check doesn't work. This check doesn't work. I can grab a pawn here. And then my knight would have nowhere to go. I think this this is the, the only sensible move. Alright, we're just going to... Yeah, we're going to just grab a pawn. And then move back to the center. Fair. And then we just castle and 
connect the rooks, then the opening is finished. <coughs> so, so far so good. Just a pawn up, but position is quite good. I have two minor pieces literally like in the face of the king almost. And my opponent is going to lose casting rights. Actually, this could be a block. Uh, but yeah, again, this is fine. It's the same, same as before. I could just take. So king's a long move. This is a discovered, I mean, sorry, this is a, a fork, but the queen's here, so what can we do about that? I feel like I don't need to do too much. Yeah, we could castle, no? Yeah, cool, we're gonna, we're gonna go for a kingside castle. There's the two minor pieces actually quite quite close to my kingside, but it's bishops. Like the pawns are on dark squares and they're facing towards this direction, so I think it's safer to castle on the kingside. Since the pawns are pointing to the queenside, you probably have a better attack on the queenside. Oh, all right, so he's kicking this out. It's just crazy. Mm. But what about this? Oh, it doesn't work. That's a blunder, wow. This, take, take, take with the queen. So the queen's there. These two pieces, including my... Oh, wait. Maybe this would be bad for him, hold on. Oh, no, my queen can't get in. It's fucked by this pawn. I was thinking maybe I could get my queen in here. All right, okay, we're we moving on right then, back here? Or back here? And then here, all right. Uh, we're, moving, we're moving back, all right? This piece, we're going to keep it as like a defensive piece for now since I have a knight on this side of the board anyway. I don't need to you know, do anything silly. Also need to watch for my time. 7 minute 50. Okay, I'm going to try to open up the position. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because the center is quite beefed up. Maybe I'll move my rook over and then just go for it. I might not even, I might not even connect my rooks just yet. I mean, is this going to work? He yeah, has three defenders or b5. I'm gonna have <laughs> two attackers, not gonna work. Cool, just a random move. All right, how are we pushing forward? Let's say this, all right? Let's say it takes with the pawn. I take back. Now, this, push, takes with the pawn. I take back. This, uh, double up maybe? No, doesn't work. Are we gonna go for this? I think we have to go for a pawn break here. On defense this, we have to watch out. Oh, I just realized this. Wow, wow, I'm um, so, wow. This could have been quite annoying. All right, then there's this knight move as well, to be fair. I could just kick it out though. Maybe should I should do this now. Uh, I don't need to, all right. So I think this, then this. That reveals an attack on this. But like this, take, all right, I think my bishop, I think, okay, I don't know what to do. All right, cool. We're, we're just gonna connect the rooks. Um, this position is uh, quite locked up. I hate games like this, honestly. There's very few moves, so yeah. Up a pawn, but I mean, surely my opponent's gonna like create an opportunity. Maybe I should have pushed this pawn. I didn't consider doing this. Yeah, I think I think this is the the next few moves. Let's just see what sort of threat my opponent creates. Okay, I think he's gonna castle by hand. I assume probably towards the king side. I think this might, but you can't even do this. Uh, I guess this is the next move. We're just gonna go for this. Or oh, let's not get our bishop trapped. This bishop is more useful to me, so I wouldn't want to have a trade here. This is a very passive square. So if I do this, I can't step back if this pawn push happens. Ah, this position is quite uh, annoying, to say the least. Oh, damn. What about this? Uh, you know what, whatever. If this does happen, cool. We'll just go back. I mean, it's quite annoying because this, this knight can't really move because of this. So we might have to, we might have to deal with this somehow. In fact, if I get my knight on here, I'll, I'll be forking these two pieces. Okay, so that's a smart way of doing it. Doubles up on this file. I think I could, I should probably protect this. I'll keep pushing. I can't push this because it hangs this. We're going to keep moving forward. Just going to keep pushing my pawn. While he spends some moves, casting in my hand. I'm just going to advance my queen side. Yeah, position is very, very locked up. I feel like once the trade happens, like I can't even force a trade. Like if, if, I, if I do this, Lose a pawn. Maybe I should push this pawn and then go for this. But then he just he just hides back here. And I don't want to force this trade because my that's the only bishop I have. He has a bishop here and this is a useful bishop. Hmm. Yeah, expected. Actually I just realized after that push I can't put my knight here. I mean should I force this? Let's let's see what happens here. I don't see the point. Like my queen I was thinking could get in here, but the knight defends it. If I do this, trade, take. Alright, remove the attack of this square. So can I push them? Oh, and then maybe I could get my rook in and then push. We're keeping this, we're keeping this piece. I could trade it later down the line if I, if I need to, but... Oh, I just realized this knight can't even move. It's going to be three attackers. I can't defend this with this rook. 
Uh, we need to trade this this piece off. This piece is more powerful than I thought. Yeah, I see. So this is pinned. Oh, he's trying to win a pawn now. Take, take the queen. And this is attacked as well. Nice. But, but I could go ahead now, though. All right, I want to trade this piece off. This takes, takes. I'm happy with that. This takes, 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 takes. Take, I'll just take back. So probably we'll take with the rook. And I'll just take. But what about this? Takes with this. Wait. This takes with the queen. Oh, no, it doesn't work. All right. We're going for this trade because once this moves and also the rook gets in, there's going to be a double attack on this pawn as well. And he's going to win two pieces, two, two pawns. We can't be having that. And the position's closed anyway. Uh, this was a wrong move, I think. Or even one of these are probably a wrong move. Either this was wrong or this was wrong. We'll find out. All right, I'm going to take. Yeah, we're taking. And then, yeah, I could defend this pawn after. Very close position, this. Oh, I didn't even realize. Wow, the queen also attacks this. Nice. And then he's going to try. Okay. What if I go for this? No. Can I go for this push now? Take, take the knight. This, this. Rook is on the seventh file. My knight's here. But then this is hanging. Can I do this? No, nope, doesn't work. This hangs this. Is there a problem with that? No, nope, pushing. Oh, uh, what? Takes with the knight. But then calculate that actually. And then takes back this way. Take with the pawn. This would probably trade queens again. And yeah, this is still hanging. So, alright, so I think that move works. Alright, also didn't anticipate that one. Alright, do we have to take or can we push? Or take this way? Take this. Moves away, I guess. This or this. Knight moves somewhere. Here, here, here. And then I could grab it. Or this. I don't know where this bishop moves. Or just takes, attacks my rook. So this got to go. So now there's this, and now I can't capture it back. Yeah. So now this is, yeah, this is a thing. But what about this move? What's this attacking this? Can we protect this? No. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move here. I'm just gonna let him grab this and pin this pawn just to, you know, see see what we could do here. I could also try to trade this off, which might not be a good idea. Then maybe bring the rook here, but this this will attack the rook. Come with a tempo. Don't like that. Maybe at 25 on the clock as well. Not ideal. Also, when this moves, this queen could get in. Hmm. I wonder how I got myself into this one. But if I say this capture happens, I have to, I have to plan ahead. This, then attacks the rook. Then I just move over. Ah, there's that as well. Capture. I'll probably have to capture this, don't I? Any checks? I'm gonna take. I don't wanna spend too much time. I have to take that. So yeah, my opponent's grabbed back that pawn I just lost. I'm possibly even grabbing this. This move, what does that do? Don't know, nothing really. Oh wait, this is protected. So I could protect this now. Yeah, we're gonna protect this. A minute on the clock. <laughs> Maybe we could have done this. Oh wait, he's, he's two pawns up, my bad. I also lost this pawn here. All right. If we protect this way, yeah, we're gonna do this. We have to hold on to this because it's like the only thing in my position. And then he has his two pass pawns, so yeah, a bit, bit of a rough one. This doesn't work because I mean, what do you even do here? Gonna go back and then this. This is a move now, but it doesn't really do. It doesn't do anything. So no checks, nothing. I don't even know how this like happened. I don't. This was a very annoying game. One of the most frustrating games I actually played. There's like three moves. There's literally like one move you can make in a position. And it all requires like three move planning. Yeah, expected. All right, maybe I give this pawn up. Or this, this, then this. If I go here, take, take, take. Oh wait, this is defended. I can move this. All right, I'm gonna move here. Oh, my bad. All right, move here. Attack this now. I could just take this. This is a pin. This, this can't be taken. I could take this, he can't take back because of the rook. Damn, this is this is quite close. <sighs> Alright, what could he do? Let's think ahead. Defense this way, I'll just grab. Maybe it maybe comes back. Again, I could just grab. Take, I will trade. Moves back. Alright. Alright, we're kicking this knight out. Alright, attacking this. I'm moving back here just to keep this free file. Also, this knight moves a thing. Again, I could just take this. Or this. Oh, it's protected. Yeah, I think, I think this is the move. Oh, maybe I should have moved up to prepare a discovered attack because this blocks the defense of the rook from the, the knight, but again, it's been defended by a pawn. Yeah, quite the situation here, I'm not gonna lie. I feel very tense. This, pushing this, take, and maybe a trade. Or this, I'm gonna go for this. 
this out, I would just take this also defensive square as well. Mm. And then what if I bring the rook in now? I could can't take that. This, 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 and then takes, takes. I could just take this stuff, this another defender of that square. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna push this pawn. We're gonna start our own attack. This is a move which I didn't calculate. I think at that point I could just blockade, but then it could just keep coming forward. 44 seconds. Uh, I've got my opponent's clock down to three minutes. You know, this this comes with a check. I could take, and if he takes back with the pawn, I take. This push, take, no, this hangs this, so we're not doing that. I could move up, move up here, support this pawn push. <sighs> Man, <laughs> this is a, uh, if we could get this knight to move somehow. I mean, I don't know what to do with this though. I can't, yeah. What do I do? Should I blockade? This keeps pushing. I'm gonna go for this. 26 seconds. This push can't happen now because it hangs this. Maybe even double up. Should I sacrifice a piece here? Check. Move. Blockade. Protect this as well. Let's try and take this pawn. 22 seconds. Hmm. I'm finding this game very difficult. I'm not exactly sure how I ended up in this position. This guy is a very positional player. Can just move back. Defend this way. Defend this way. Push. No. We're defending this way. Again, can, can just move back in. I want to I get my king up here and try to grab some pawns or something. I have to create something. This. Protect again. Gonna double up maybe. I could just block the attack, but this is the move. Take. I'm blocking the attack. I'm not even gonna think. Now this is hanging. Take, take. Is there a tactic? No. Yeah. Alright, what do I do? Move back, take. Well, I mean, at least this locks the position up a bit. Three pawns down. I'm fighting until my clock comes to zero. Oh, I did not see that. Maybe this. Oh, shit. Take back with this knight. Did he mess up? I kind of snatched that there. I forget this is increment, but I know he didn't mess up. <laughs> you want two pieces for one. Yeah, I mean, he's going to promote. I fought till the end. Maybe let's try and grab this. This is discovered, but I could just take. Yeah, I mean, I lost my rook as well. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, I'm going to resign. One blunder, five mistakes. I, I mean, that was a very frustrating game. Like, that's one of the most... He's, he's, um, he's a 1500 and 1529. I mean, I don't know what the hell that game was. I made one blunder. All right, let's just go through this. All right. This was an inaccuracy. What do I even do? Well, there's like one move I could do here. What am I meant to do here? This? Alright. Cool. Yep. So anyways, this was a mistake. Why why would why would that be a mistake? What? Why are we not taking this? Yeah, this is with check. 9v2. I grabbed this rook now. Yeah, A1. This is better for him. Hmm. Um, I, I am up a pawn, but... Okay. I think, I guess, giving two minor pieces for a rook straight at the start isn't that good, apparently. Hmm. Alright. So this, I take, which was another mistake. Wow. Mistake after mistake. And this was a miss, because we both didn't understand that. Like, it, it's better to not give up two minor pieces for a rook. Because the minor pieces are the only things that could actually create a threat in, in these positions. The rook's just sitting at the back. Alright, uh, move back, discover, check. So I'm winning here. Alright, this. First inaccuracy. Hmm. This wasn't such a crazy move after all. <laughs> I should have done this. Alright, I move back. I guess I guess I asked for this. I should have seen that the positions are really closed. And I should probably force a trade. And open up the position. I would have won this if it was an open position, I promise you. Okay, mistake. Opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. How? This is literally what I was looking to do, to trade pieces. Ah, oh, this. Damn. Yeah, I was thinking, oh, my bishop's quite powerful, but this bishop is way more powerful than I actually anticipated. So I got to see that, yeah, it's putting pressure on all these pieces. I mean, on, on these squares. And the queen is also lined up with this pawn. Maybe brought my rook over earlier as well. Yeah, so it still wants me to do this. Yeah, okay, this, this. Yeah, this is better. I should have done this earlier. And eventually I got the memo. <laughs> Completely equal here. I did, a, I did a move here, 
which I don't remember, which was a blunder, which was the pull push, I think. Yeah, yeah, capture my knight. Wow, but I mean, I could just take that back. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, I thought this. Yeah. I didn't know what else to do. What do you do here? I have to think for myself because I'm not gonna. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want the engine to tell me. You move this knight, you lose this pawn. You don't move this knight, you lose a pawn anyway because then the rook gets in. Only difference is the rook isn't on the seventh rank, which is where it's like very powerful. What was it? This just just to have a piece in his face. Move the knight away safely. I mean, I thought of this, but it, it, again, this is gonna, the rook's gonna end up here, attacking my knight. And then I go after defender, which I can't because the bishop's there. So I go and move the knight after. Does he really want me to do this? Surely not. It's a mistake. Mm, from here, there's no squares you can go to. This is really frustrating. This, then this. Block, block, the, block the attack. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I have two minutes on the clock. I start getting into time issues again. I have to think faster. But I want to see exactly what happens because this does give up a pawn. Wait, what? Why are we not taking this? Why isn't this a thing? And it just gives up that pawn as well. I want to grab this pawn and attack this. It's not with 10 pawn. Wait, I can't get that pawn. What is going on? So this, <laughs> it wants me to ignore. Wait, no. This. Oh, wait, this was a mistake. So I'm not even meant to take back the, the queen. There's a check here. I missed the check. Wow. So I missed uh, a couple moves there that cost me the game. So I think I, I see. Yeah, this was a mistake. Uh, yeah, after this, it's just two pass points and it's really hard to deal with. I tried my best, but... It, you, yeah. I mean, it's kind of annoying how it was harder for me to find the best moves compared to my opponent. I, I just... I don't know how that even happens. <laughs> I guess he put his pieces in a better position so it's easier for him to find the moves. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's over here. I, I did my best, but what can you do? So yeah, I end on 14.28 today. That was an unfortunate loss. But yeah, nothing much to say, so I'll see you here tomorrow.